ever wondered why your local Chinese restaurant's beef is so tender? Well, your local Chinese restaurant is doing something to prepare chuck meat or inexpensive stew meat into delicious, delectable stir-fry beef by velveting the meat. That involves 30 minutes prep time using baking soda to marinate the meat. Today, I'm going to recreate that without the baking soda, and the meat is going to come out delectable. I will share with you my secret, but if you have the extra 30 minutes, you can always just use the baking soda, and your meat will come out velvety soft without my last secret step that you will see at the very end of this short cooking video. For those of you who enjoy partaking in some beef and string beans at your local Chinese restaurant, you know that it goes anywhere between $14 and $17 for a large order of string beans and beef. My version is so much cheaper, guys. So let's get cooking. It has all the flavor of a delicious Chinese stir fry, but the meat is the consistency of stew, and it's so yummy. I am going to be making a super delicious, easy chuck steak that I bought at Aldi's. It has been marinating in a dry rub of, I'll show you guys what my dry rub consists of, but as you can see, the seasoning did not permeate the meat, which is a chuck steak, and it does need a little bit of a more wet type of cook so that it doesn't get super dry. So I am scissor cutting this meat into little thin strips. This part happens to be fatty, but the rest of the meat really isn't, which is why it becomes a little dry. So I'm going to scissor slice all of this meat into thin little slices and then show you guys how we're making it. I seasoned it with this all natural low sodium MSG free soy-free, gluten-free, non-GMO adobo that I actually buy online because a lot of the adobo seasonings are not MSG and gluten-free. This is barbacoa seasoning that I picked up at Ollie's for only $1.49, you guys. For only $1.49. I love barbacoa seasoning. It's one of my favorites. And I added a little bit of these steak rub and original essence. These were a bucket Ollie's, my new favorite store to shop. If you have been following my channel, I will put my latest Ollie's haul video thumbnail right here because I love Ollie's, especially for things in the kitchen. They have great prices. Here is the meat, all scissor cut. And it has all of that seasoning on it. I'm going to add a little olive oil and mix it up so that it can spread itself everywhere. Now I have some olive oil and I shredded my garlic. I love to shred the garlic when I'm doing this recipe on one of these because it just really releases all of those oils in the garlic. We have the meat that is super seasoned right here. While that is cooking through, I am going to take some of my soy-free seasoning, organic liquid coconut aminos because I'm allergic to soy, but you can use soy sauce. I put two tablespoons of the soy-free soy in a bowl, and then I'm going to put, I'm gonna put one tablespoon of some Honey, any honey will do, but I happen to have this one. I, I do have some awesome honey from the Dollar Tree, but I'm working on finishing this one. I do normally put a whole onion, but I had a half an onion, and so that's what I'm using with this meat. I'm also going to use whatever leftover vegetables I have that I don't want to see go to waste. So while it's all frying up, I'm gonna pick through my mushrooms that have seen better days and my fresh string beans. And I'm going to use both of those vegetables so that they don't end up going to waste. They're going in this stir fry. I'm also going to grate some fresh ginger into this into this sauce with the honey and the faux soy that I use. Uh, you know, you put however much ginger you want. I happen to like it 
with a nice ginger kick, that garlic and ginger. Then I'm gonna add some green onion to this and it's going to be really flavorful. Now, you'll see that I'm cooking it up in the frying pan still and I'm letting it stir fry so that the beans get the taste of the meat. And once I pour the sauce on top of it with the scallion, I cook it for like another minute. But my secret ingredient is not an ingredient. It's actually a kitchen apparatus. Once everything has gotten the once over over the flame and all of the flavors have mixed together, I take everything out of my frying pan or wok and I put it into my Instapot. I turn the Instapot, it's already hot. I turn the Instapot on for five minutes and it does a slow release and the meat becomes buttery soft, you guys. The Instapot is the secret ingredient in this stir fry because the chuck steak is very tough. So what I do is I take it from the frying pan and I put it in my Instapot for five minutes. That five minutes transforms this meat into a super succulent, delicious, juicy meat that melts in your mouth and makes this chuck steak delectable. Because this is a super quick dinner, I am going to serve the stir fry on top of the basmati rice that I picked up at Ali's also because it's just a dollar, this basmati rice, and it's really, really good. So that is already done in 90 seconds. I love ready-made rice. And there you have it, guys. It is delicious. Homemade stir fry in 20 minutes or less. The meat comes out really soft and the sauce is absolutely delicious. Your family will love this, this easy, super quick dinner that you can whip up on any weeknight. So friends, and you can top this with some sesame seeds or even the everything bagel seasoning. I skipped it today, but look at how soft the meat becomes. Do you guys see that? That's what you want in your stir fry that is sometimes impossible to achieve without the Instapot. And that is my money saving secret to delicious stir fry that my family will eat because the meat is so soft and delicious. It has all the flavor of a delicious Chinese stir fry, but the meat is the consistency of stew and it's so yummy.